It's time for your daily dose of Dragon Feather. Hey, this is Dragon Feather, and I'm here to do a video on my belly button piercing. Surprise, guys! I'm not sure if many of you guys know that I even have a belly button piercing. Well, I do, and uh, it's pretty new, actually. I've only had it for about two and a half months. It's pretty healed now, and I would like to share my experience with you guys. So without further ado, I'm gonna talk about it. All right, guys, so the pain. I'm sure everybody's like, what's the pain like? I mean, that's all the questions I've ever gotten on it, really, is what was the pain like? And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I struggle with needles. Needles are very awful and very terrifying to me, and I do not like them one bit. Nor have I ever liked needles, nor do I think anyone really likes needles to begin with. But they went incredibly slow. The person who pierced me went incredibly slow and it was incredibly painful and it was excruciating. On a scale of 1 to 10, it was probably an 8. It took my breath away and it was awful. He put the clamps on, area where I got it pierced, and I thought that was the piercing. So I was like, ah, oh, dude, I got this. I'm good. And then the needle went in. So <laughs> it was awful. Awfully awesome. <laughs> Not really. It was pretty painful. Hey, you know, some people say it wasn't that bad, some people say it was awesome, some people say it wasn't scary, some people say it was terrifying. I say it was terrifying. I don't like needles though, I kind of have a phobia of needles. So take that as what you will. But caring for it, I was pretty good at caring for it for a while. I cleaned it with Q-tip and did all that jazz, cleaned it with salt water and stuff like that and made sure it was all nice and stuff and things. I kind of stopped cleaning it after a while, but to be honest with you, my belly button's still fine. It's kind of sore a little bit, but other than that, it's perfectly okay. It works and it's beautiful and I really like my piercing and I'll show you guys my piercing. Here's a picture of my piercing. Isn't it cute? It's pretty cute. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's adorable. Anyway, I didn't care for it as much as I probably should have. Uh, I will admit this, I'm very lazy when it comes to caring for things. Even my ears, I didn't clean very much, but they're okay. Um, they're fine, they're doing their thing, and this one's, I can almost pull this one through. It's about time to gauge my ears, so, yeah. Anyway, moving on to the problem I had with my piercing. Here was the thing, I had this piercing, I'm actually gonna show you the piercing. Alright, so this was the piercing that I had in my belly button, the one, like the one that I got it pierced with, it was terrible. It was absolutely fucking awful because I had to use pliers, no joke, to get it out of my navel area. I had to hold it with scissors and twist it with pliers to get the little ball to unscrew. I don't know what he did or how he screwed it on, but he did it in a way that was like humanly impossible to like get off. I don't know how it happened. So yeah, if you get your belly button pierced, make sure that he doesn't, he or she, depending on who pierces you, they don't screw it on ridiculously crazy because I wasn't able to get it off. Um, and yeah. Also, with piercing, some things that you should consider when you get your navel pierced is don't go swimming at all probably for a good six months because you want it to heal correctly, you want it to heal properly, and you don't want it to reject it. I was very afraid that my belly button was going to reject it because I went swimming a few times while I was still in the healing process. I mean, I'm still in the healing process. I... it was really bad. <laughs> like, it was terrible. It was like oozing like pus and stuff and it was just so gross. It was so nasty. But I cleaned it and I got it fixed up and it was all good and it's all good now. Be careful about swimming because that the chlorine and stuff could get it infected and that's the last thing that you want to do. The worst part about having my belly button pierced, in all honesty, has been the pain of, be of it being infected when it was infected. It was absolutely excruciating. I couldn't even touch it. I couldn't even lay on my side. I couldn't even have the piercing in that I have now, the pinnacle one. I couldn't even have that one in because the pinnacle and the dangly stuff was too heavy for it and it was just absolutely painful like that on a scale of 1 to 10 was a fucking 12 like it was so bad like I was in tears on how much it hurt that's why be careful with cleaning it and make sure that you clean it every day because if you don't it's gonna burn like a bitch and it hurts it's so painful it's so goddamn terrible um, I just hope that you guys don't ever have to go through that because it was probably one of the worst things if not the worst thing that I've had to go through pain wise with piercings and stuff and needles um, I take that back. I've had a really bad experience with needles in my life. A story for another time, I suppose. Uh, this is the piercing that I got pierced with. It's a little shit and it rattles because the little jewel in there is totally not in there securely. So that drove me nuts all the time. 
I don't know if you can hear it. You probably can't hear it because my camera is an iPod, so yeah. <laughs> My overall experience of getting my belly button pierced was amazing, was phenomenal, and the only problem I really had was the disappointment from my mother. <laughs> yeah, she didn't like that very much. I told her, right? And she was like, she's like, did it hurt? And I'm like, yes. She's like, good, good. It's pretty much my mom. She's not a big fan of tattoos and piercings, though my sister and me are covered in them, so I don't have tattoos yet. I will one day. Um, yeah, just make sure that before you get your belly button pierced, if you are thinking about it, that you do your research and you know for a fact that the piercer that you're going to is good and is not sketchy, and make sure that you're 18 if you're going without a parent. Until next time, blessed be. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and yeah, bye guys. Oh, yeah, this is my other piercing, by the way. It's, uh, it's, it's... A music note with a bunch of freaking jewels um yeah bye things to know when you go into it is maybe i should start over maybe i should start over all right let's see we went over the pain now didn't we i don't know i don't really know what i'm talking about anymore i had a tangent and i lost it and i don't know where i was going with that so let me have a second to think i guess Second to think. That's good. Mm-hmm.